What is up, you sluts? We are back. We're back in black, uh, chilling uh, down under the basement. In our new studio. In our new studio. Um, we've been trying to work out the kinks for this show, trying to get our shit together a little you bit. You might have noticed in our last episode we had video for half of it, and then the second half we did not. That's because we don't know what the fuck we're doing, to be frank about it. Right. There's uh, a, lot of, a lot of touch and go uh stuff when it comes to making this show so you know there's a lot, I, I think a lot of people don't realize how how much stuff how much there's shit goes so into much it little shit oh yeah that you gotta figure out to fucking do this shit i mean it's easy in concept right yeah it sounds easy it's, it's easy but you have to kind of know a little bit of what you're doing to kind of mm. make it work anyways luckily you know and i i, I don't know shit i know a little bit I know a little bit. I know enough to get by. I know enough to do it. Yeah. I just talk. I'm the talent. <laughs> I'm the talent here. Okay. Just kidding. I don't think that I have very many talents, but if I do, it's definitely bullshitting with my friends. So, I want to tell you about Laughlin, Nevada. Tell us, Christian. Um, me and my dad flew out to Phoenix to drive to Laughlin because, in case you didn't know, Airplane tickets are fucking out the roof right now. It's like literally fucking four hundred dollars. It was more expensive to fly to Laughlin than Phoenix. Uh, we can't fly to Laughlin. We'd have to fly to Las Vegas. They got an airport there. Yeah, but the tickets were like five hundred or like four hundred, five hundred pop a pop, I think, or maybe it was at three hundred. I don't know. Either way, it would have been a fucking like thousand dollar trip. Fuck that. So we're like, fuck, you know, fuck that. Anyway, so we go to Phoenix. Uh, we, we drive into Laughlin, hang out with my grandpa, uh, who, if you know our previous episodes, if I've talked about him, he's kind of a strange dude. Um, anyways, we're hanging out at the casino with him. He leaves around eight o'clock. Um, uh, and keep in mind, I, I brought $200 to gamble with, um, lost a hundred dollars in 20 minutes. And then... So we went to bed. We woke on up what? Slots? On slots. Right. I, tra- I played, oh, uh, to kind of off topic, but I played roulette uh, once, the, uh, the uh, roulette game that's yeah, yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah. Um, that was cool. I'm familiar. I lost, it's a fun game. I lost the five bucks I put into it. Either way, so we wake up in the morning, we're hanging out, and the mask mandate had just started the day that we got there on that Friday, the very new mask mandate. So... Uh, l- the whole time, you know, and keep in mind, you can smoke in there too. So people are smoking. What are you supposed to do when you're smoking? You pull your mask down, you smoke when you're done do it through the mask. So th- what they were saying is that I needed to take drags in between. So I had to pull my mask up in between drags of my cigarette. And you know, I'm not an anti-masker or whatever. I'm, I'm just, I just, it, it was frustrating. You know, my mustache is sweating. It's just, it's fucking frustrating. So I'm like, I'm smoking a cigarette. Either that or tell people they can't smoke. Your mustache sweat is the worst because it's I'm not, right below I'm not your gonna fucking s- nostrils I'm not gonna and you smoke, smell it. I'm not going to smoke and then put my, my mask over my face and then inhale all the exhaled smoke. Anyways, so I got a little toot, right? And this one manager guy <laughs> came up to me. His name was Steven. That's important for the story. And he was like, uh, sir, go ahead and please pull your mask up. And I was like, all right, thanks, Steven. Because I read his name tag and just called him by his name. a little stank on it. Yeah, you, know, you just said stank. his name with a little stank on it. And which I get, to be fair, that pissed him off. And he turned right back well, around. Well, what do you expect when your fucking name is Steven? <laughs> it's like the easiest name to put stank he, on. He Whatever, tur- Steven. He turned around and he was basically said, well, you've already been asked twice. And if we have to ask you again, we'll go ahead and have security escort you out. And then we're going to, if you have rooms here, we'll go ahead and take your rooms away too. So I looked at him right in the dead in the fucking face and was like, okay, Steven. <laughs> 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 like, he was just, you know. So, But right after that, it was fucked up. I saw a guy walking by with no mask, smoking a cigarette, drinking a beer. He Steven looked, bitched he out, He looked the he? other fucking way. So I'm like, it's obviously this guy was just trying to flex his little bit of authority that he had on this fucking 26-year-old kid. But he saw the guy with no mask and he was like, that is one bold bitch. He ain't right. even trying. And, and you know... I get it. I get the mask thing, but I at the same time, I, I just put a hundred fucking bucks in there. 
You know what I mean? Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, oh, sorry, sorry, sir. Here's another hundred dollars. Let me go ahead and fucking lose my another. I just, I'm a paying customer. Is my point. And you're letting me smoke, right? Which is crazy because if it's like transmitted through the air, like that shit like, is going into my now, lungs and then floating through the air, and people are fucking inhaling now, it. Now, places like the airport, I get it. I completely get it. There's old people around. There's you, the all kinds of people. Mm. Go, and you have to travel. What are you going to not travel? Yeah. You have to. So I get like grocery stores, airplanes, you know, places with a lot of traffic. But a casino? You, There's not a lot of traffic in a casino? There is, but people choose to go to a casino. They're putting themselves at risk when they go to the fucking casino. That's what you're just saying. Like a grocery store, you got to go. Yeah, everybody needs food. You don't yeah. have to go to a casino. Unless you, so you are a compulsive so if, gambler. So if your casino has a, a smoking... You, if they allow a smoking, then let people smoke. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Instead of because what I was doing was I was I was taking down my mask to smoke. When I got done with my cigarette, I pull my mask up, just sure. out of respect. Sure. But I'm not gonna do that when I'm smoking a cigarette. That's just fucking. That's stupid. That's just straight silly. You it's know like what I mean? when you're eating on a plane. You gotta put it back up in between bites. Yeah. Anyways, that's I, the funniest I won't, shit. In I the won't world. get too into the COVID thing because I don't want to. It's just pressing on your brain. I it's, get you. You got to vent a little bit yeah. to these strangers on YouTube. And, I, and I'm not. I'm not putting myself out there in any way, shape, or form. Uh, if anyone's listening, I don't fucking. Just for the record, this is a non-political fucking thing. I'm not a political person. I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Um. But. Anyways, um, so that was that. So, so right after that happened, we're like, "Well, fuck!" Oh, also another key point of the story: my grandpa hasn't showered in a couple weeks. <laughs> and he, which again, if you have listened to our previous episodes, that would probably come as no surprise. And he basically um, he was sleeping in my dad's bed. It made our room kind of stink, so we didn't want to be rude and call the fucking. Dude, you gotta be. We didn't want to be rude and call the fucking front desk and be like, hey, can you just change out one of the sheets in the bed that he happened to be <laughs> you know what I mean? And the pillowcases. And the pillowcases, yeah. So anyway, so so we're sitting there like, well, we can't go up to the room, you know, because it just smells up there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can't sit here and have a con Because me and my dad were just sitting on an empty slot machine when all this had happened. Because we just didn't... Because our mook... So we were going to go bowling... Um, we went bowling, and then after bowling, we were going to go see a movie, but the movie didn't start till 4. And this was a, this all happened around 3.20, because we're sitting there waiting for the movie. We what don't, movie were you going to see? Uh, I don't remember. Mm, I don't remember. Very was, the movie selection wasn't very really good out there. But we were just trying to kill some time. We didn't put it. We didn't want to put another $100 in the machine until mm. later that night. And you night. can't fucking go outside, because it's 120 We degrees. couldn't go outside, because it's 100 and fucking, yeah, 106 degrees or something that day. Yeah. Um, so we're like, well, fuck, what do we do? I, we can't sit here. We can't fucking go outside. We can't go back up to the room. What do we do? So my dad's like, you want to leave? You want to go stay at Chris's house? Like, yeah, fuck yeah. Let's, fuck these, you know, fuck these people. I'm not Did we say you. who Chris is? Uh, oh, uh, Chris is my dad's bass player who lives out in Arizona. So he lives about three hours from Laughlin. Which actually kind of worked in our benefit because that way we didn't have to drive three hours to get back to early airport. ass in the morning on a, on a time limit. Yeah, yeah. We had all night to get there. So that kind of worked. We ended up staying at Chris's house and he has a beautiful house. Dude makes like over or like almost 200,000 a fucking year. Good Lord. He makes, you know, all he does too. He's not, a, he's not a, even an IT guy. He's a, I think he said he's an IT manager. So he just manages so he IT just manages people. IT guys? Yeah. That's Sounds sweet. fucking crazy. He has a lot of guns. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. And fucking. he loads his own ammo. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Yeah, he's he cool. Very cool. A little vanilla, but very fucking cool. He has a really dry sense of humor. when, Because uh, he also did uh, a firearms training class that I participated in. And he will talk shit to you all day, and you won't even really notice because of how subtle he is with that shit. So I gotta, I gotta admit something to you guys here, and you. 
You're gay. No. Um, I'm I'm fat. I think I'm fat. Like I started losing. I've starting to. I've started to lose objects <coughs> in my roles of fat. Like for instance, I went out and smoked a cigarette, and I had my lighter in my lap, which I guess then fell underneath the rolls of my belly. And then I stood up, or no, I didn't. St- I was I was looking for my lighter, checking my pockets, like what the hell? I couldn't find it. Stood up and it fucking dropped. And I'm like, see, at least it dropped. It would have been cool if it would have stayed put. If your <laughs> if your belly would have just held it. That's in a place. weird. That's a weird transition <coughs> for a man or a woman. Like becoming fat. Becoming a fat person is it's a weird transition. I mean, it's beautiful because I'm uh, in incredible shape. It's, so. I I don't mind being fat and happy. I like being. <laughs> I like having a belly and just you know what I mean. It jiggles pretty good, huh? I like it. Um, there's certain, it makes you definitely look jolly. There's certain times I jolly is the only description. There's certain times I don't like it. Like if we're watching a movie, and there's a dude on the TV with like a six pack, and then Danielle just like looks at me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? No, but I'm you know kidding. what? That if you, depending on how you are sitting on the couch, you got like a built-in uh, table for your nachos or whatever that you might be eating. When I was Probably a kid, nachos. when I was a kid, I, I used to nachos. eat. Uh, Bowls of cereal out of the indentation of my chest. In case anybody's wondering, I have an indented chest. And if you're wondering what that looks like, it's the he got exact, punched in the chest. It's the exact opposite of a bird uh, pigeon chest. What the fuck is he? I don't even know what a, a pigeon, pigeon chest, chest is, is. Like this. Did, have you ever seen kids where their chest bone like no. pokes outward? No. Well, there's certain kids that their chest bone pokes outward, like their sternum or whatever this part is. Yeah, pokes out. Mine, breastplate. Mine, I'd call it a breastplate. Breastplate. Mine is in going. Mine goes inward. Mm-hmm. It does. So you put cereal in it. I used to put. <laughs> so you just saw it. And I you were used like, to yeah. put cereal you in know, it. I got a bowl. Oh, yeah. built into me. Oh yeah. I used to put cereal in there. Put some milk in there. It's just probably only fit a few bites in there. It's kind of no, not even worth it. You'd be it. surprised. Yeah. You'd be surprised. It's a little bowl. Can I see? No. Uh, like. Put some cereal in that shit. Well, you could tell. You could see how fucking. Lay on your back and pour a beer in there. <laughs> <laughs> see how much liquid collects. Yeah, dude, I'll drink it. Ew. I would. I would. Just for the for the content. For the lols. Know? Just for the content. Do it for the lols. Dude, you're about to have a baby in how long? Yes. Yeah, so. Oh, how many yeah, months? So, That's so, like... so there's so much shit that has happened. So. I think we one, talked about the baby. I so you all know I'm becoming a father. Uh, uh, it's a boy. His name is going to be Charlie. 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 I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna call him Charles. You can call him Charles. Chuck uh, is what my dad's gonna fucking call him. I'm gonna call him Manson. Um, <laughs> Manson. <laughs> uh, fucking. When is a goddamn due date? I shouldn't October. say goddamn due date. It's a happy moment. <laughs> it's a goddamn due date. When is the uh, October thirtieth? Is mm-hmm. when he's supposed to be born. I'm he might hoping, be born on Lyra's birthday. I'm hoping for the thirty first. Lyra's is November first. Excuse me. Goddamn um, Scorpios. I either way, I'm super super excited to be a dad. Um, I uh, asked my girlfriend to marry me, so now I'm. I have a fiance. Yeah. Um, I have a video of it in case anybody wants to see the video. It's on my Facebook. Just go to my Facebook. And it's TikTok because he's 14. And TikTok because I apparently have a fucking weird obsession with TikTok now. So You, you know what? Some of them little TikToks that you made are pretty funny. Dude, they're so funny. They are pretty funny. They're I so won't funny. lie. I mean, some of them are just stupid. Just are like of my dog. You know what I mean? Just shit to just put out there. Cause I, no, everyone those two that you it. showed me were pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. I'm inside drinking a beer. That was pretty funny. So, are you gonna drink the breast milk? Are you gonna taste it? Uh, no. I think is that a thing? Do people do that? Oh yeah, dude. What do you mean, like? Oh yeah, like like, it's a big thing. Everyone does it. Most of the dads that I know have tasted it. Oh, you are full of shit. I'm not, bro. I have full of shit. I have. Who the fuck? I want to know who out there has fucking tried to taste. Their girl's breast milk. Yeah, send Chris a text at 720. Hold on. <laughs> Don't, no, 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 no. Uh, but no, I've tasted it. 
It's not gross. It's kind of almost like uh, sweetened vanilla almond milk. Yeah. That's warm. That's fucking disgusting. It's nutrient rich. It's good for you. That sounds like a bad time. No, it's good for you. You just, you know, if you want like a little root beer float, have her drop a little. No, no. Might be good. Oh, God. Might be good. I'm just saying. Jesus Christ. And it's nutrient rich. Again. Jesus. I will drink a bag of breast milk like a Capri Sun. I guess if I was starving on an island somewhere. How the fuck would you get breast milk if you were starving on an island? If me and Danielle were starving on an island, we would have another baby. Okay. And then that way. So, like, you were just keep impregnating her so she could make milk? Yeah. For you guys to drink? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just factory farming your wife. Dude. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <clears throat> no, I'm sure you could find some crickets or something, dude. I don't think you gotta do all that. <laughs> crickets. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, if you could take one thing on a. De- on a deserted island, what would you take? Rifle. Why? So I could shoot anything. What if there's nothing, no, what if there's like no. Have you seen anything on Earth? If I was on an island, there would definitely be some sort of creature on there. Do you ever watch Planet Earth? David Attenborough can explain all it of it. It depends what island. Because some islands like don't have like monkeys or like. It doesn't have to be monkeys. There's at least insects. Which are very protein rich. I would eat the fuck out of some crickets, bro. Yeah. But, you know, shooting at crickets with a rifle, probably not effective. <laughs> but at the same time, if I'm on an island, I could shoot at fish. That Just, would like obliterate a fish, though. Whatever. Depends on what round I'm using, I guess. And then when are you going to swim out there to catch the fish? Once you shoot it? What, am I going to shoot at like 100 yards? No. I'm going to stand in the shallow and shoot around me where the little oh, tropical fish are okay. chilling. And then I just reach down and pick it up. I don't know if that would work. I'm just, you know. What would you bring, motherfucker? Um, Let me. I would bring. Rope. No. I would, so that way you could hang yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I would bring. I sound stupid, but a whole thing, like a whole shipping container of food and water. No. That's one thing. You're fucking so stupid. That's one thing. One thing that you can carry, you <laughs> dumb bitch. All right. Um, uh, I would probably bring a, a knife. knife. Yeah, knew it. Knew it. Or what would you need a knife for if there's no animals to kill? To kill a fish. <laughs> you just stab at the fish. Yeah, you put it on the. You make a spear out of it. I mean, that's way better than a rifle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Dude, five, five, six cartridges move at like over 3,000 feet per second. So I feel like it's a, way faster than like any a, spear. Yeah, but a knife isn't going to obliterate the fish, though. Mm. Depends on the knife. Depends on the knife, I guess. How sharp it is. Dude, <laughs> I got a weird story about fish. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Which sounds weird to say out loud. <laughs> Weird story about fish. Anyway, uh, I I made this African friend at one of the places that I service for work. Um, she's from Ghana, and she's awesome. She's super funny. She's like this large black lady, and she just like super lovely. She always hugs me and shit. But we talk about food all the time because I fucking love food. And uh, I was there yesterday, and she's like, "I made you some food," and she opened the fridge. In the, like the cooler in the little area she in, and she gave me this f- fish soup. Okay. Okay. Taken out of the refrigerator, so cold fish soup. Oof. I drive a truck. I got no way to heat this motherfucker up. I got no way to keep this motherfucker cold, so I can't eat that shit. Right? I'm not gonna let it just like come to room temperature in the hot sun and then and then eat, eat it later. fish. soup soup and die so i didn't know what to fucking do with it now i'm gonna feel bad she's gonna be like how did you like your soup just say it was great so good it was great but so anyway uh i brought it home because she gave it to me in this nice tupperware really nice tupperware actually i'd like to steal it but i won't and i had to dispose of the food so i popped that motherfucker open and bear in mind all day yesterday this is i got it at like seven in the morning 
So it was in my hot truck all day. So I popped the fucking lid open today to dispose of that shit, and it just... It's just uh, fish. Uh, uh, Brutal fish. Uh, and there was huge chunks of this fish, and I'm kind of fishing it out, if you will, <laughs> and uh, with a spoon... And as I get it to emerge from the liquid, there's like, she left all the scales and shit on it. Like, I was just, uh, I'm like thoroughly grossed out. But she's so sweet for taking the time to do that. And I feel like a piece of shit. Yeah, you piece of shit. I feel rude. Because honestly, I smelled it when she first gave it to me and it did smell good. I will say it did smell good. I would have eaten it had it been fresh and had I and that's another thing I'm weird about eating food that people make at their own house because I don't know how clean their kitchen is they got cats running around on the counters and right, shit like, right. I don't know so I don't really like to eat food that people bring me from home uh, I feel like it's hit or miss you, and plus you gotta it's kind of sketchy if you think about it because if you don't know the person super sketchy like if you don't know the person that you're taking the food from like that burrito guy who used to come to our work back in the day? I felt weird about getting burritos off of that guy because he's a fucking creep, dude. His burritos were damn good, though. Yeah, the prime rib burrito? Oh, yeah. Like fire. Oh, but, yeah. I but li- that dude was a creep those. for sure. Oh, yeah. A weirdo. He's dude. definitely a seedy character. Mm-mm. But but really good dude. You I know? don't know. He looks like a diddler. He gave me diddler vibes. I can see that. You know? You know? Sorry, guys. I got a cold. I am keep sniffling. Yeah, Chris is delting on me right now. He got the Delta Plus and shit. Shit, right. Because he went to Laughlin and was refusing to wear a fucking mask. Oh, yes. <laughs> Whatever. Guy, now he's delting it Whatever. out. Whatever. This motherfucker. No. No. It sound, you know, you told me the symptoms. Sounds like the delt. But also. You said you got sick <coughs> a week before. And, and, your, and yours sounds worse than mine. All I got is a runny nose. Hey, but you know what? That's how it starts. Starts with the runny nose, then that bitch drains down your throat and dries you out, and then you start coughing. Trust me, you'll you'll fucking see. Anyway, what I was gonna say is, I don't remember because you fucked me up. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Chris was Delton, Delton on me plus. God damn it! I don't know. Thanks a lot, Chris. You fricked me. You want to take a smoke break? Huh? You want to take a smoke break? Why? We're live. Okay. We're not. I mean. I'll hit this. We are the champions. What? Where's the. Of the world. I almost, I almost slipped. I almost said what I was doing. <laughs> Good thing I didn't say it. <laughs> We are the champions, <coughs> my <Yep>. friend. <coughs> oh my god! <coughs> um, but when I when I sorry when I said smoke break on that cigarette, I just yeah I know I just I can't I can't well because we could smoke down here mm, and ruin our new studio. Oh thank God, <coughs> bro. I've been drinking a lot of Bang Energy drinks. Bang. And so I started following them on Instagram so I could maybe get like some coupon codes, buy that shit online. I don't know. But the CEO of that motherfucking company looks like a maniac. Oh, yeah. He looks like a fucking maniac. For anybody that doesn't know what he looks like, he looks like exactly what you would think that he looks like. Yeah. He looks like he was born to be the CEO of Bang Energy. <laughs> like, His hair is just like, like <sighs> made in a everywhere. fucking laboratory by like, scientists. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. He looks like Ric Flair. Dude, his Rick hair like <laughs> his hair is fucking I can't believe he walks around with that haircut, dude. Dude. He's rich. He owns this company that's making probably a ton of money. Oh yeah. At least off of me. Yeah. I, I'm buying a I don't I, I don't drink them because I drink them I drank one one time. But just, I, just once you chugged it though, didn't you? Because they're uh, so delicious, they're hard I, not to chug. I think I did. You see this one? I've been drinking on this motherfucker for like the last three hours. You sip it slow, and then once it's gone, you sound like me. You talk fast. You got some <laughs> milligrams in you. You're fucking animated, talking with your with your hands and shit. Wait, we're we gonna do a podcast with that about that shit, <laughs> dude. What? 
Did you know that auctioneers have to go to school to become an auctioneer? And only like 15% of the people who actually go to auctioneering school end up getting a job in that field. Really? Yeah. Can you imagine? <clears throat> That's your dream? To be an auctioneer? Yeah. I mean, there's people out there that I'm sure that... You I wonder know, how just... much an auctioneer... What's the average uh, salary of an auctioneer? I'm going to Google that shit real quick. Average salary of an... Why do I got to type this shit in? Uh. Isn't my phone listening to me? Shouldn't it already know what I'm asking it? Because it's listening all the time. Oh, shit. Between forty three and sixty seven thousand a year. I don't know. Go to school for that? Uh, I mean, it's no different than like people who go to school to be like, go to like clown college, stuff like that. Which is crazy. I think we talked about it in another episode. Clowns. <laughs> <laughs> that is the weird. Why what the f- grown man is like? You know what? I'm gonna be a clown. Right. I'm going to be the best clown you've ever seen. <laughs> like, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> and how do you, who knows even how to, like, They're determine what is a good clown versus a bad clown? I mean, like, you can kind of look at one and be like, that's a bad clown. That's a scary fucking clown. Yeah. But just the idea of wanting to be, like, a weird children's entertainer like that, like that burrito guy, probably a closet clown. <laughs> Closet clown. He gave me Diddler he's, vibes like a clown. That's so funny. Fuck that guy. He's just like secretly, <laughs> dude. He just like, deep down though. I want to be a clown. <laughs> His wife goes to work. He's like, have a great day, yeah. honey. <laughs> he watches her leave out the window, and he, he pulls it, pulls a clown, the, clown out, puts on out some music, and he's ooh, yeah. Ooh. Dressing up like a clown. He's all trying to walk in stilts in his house. And he's shit. riding a unicycle, <laughs> like honking a horn around his house and shit. Oh, shit. His wife comes home early. Honey, it's not what you think. <laughs> oh, I got to go sell burritos at the King Supers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's so funny. I don't know, dude. I had a. You know why I probably don't like clowns? Probably the same reason as everybody else. But since uh, I had a dream about a clown when I was five, and I still remember it. Dude, can we talk about dreams real quick? I've been having weird-ass dreams. Involving? A lot of the time, well, I've, and I said this before, a lot of the time I dream at, that we're at the casino. But in this particular dream, we were, like, on an airplane. It was all of us, like, you, me, uh, my mom and dad, uh, Lacey, Danielle, we were all on a plane. And the plane. Did the dogs get to come? I don't know. It was a weird. It was weird. It was a, who knows. And uh, the plane was going down, but everybody seemed totally normal, like so, like totally cool with the fact that like they were just like, yeah, like this is normal. I'm like. In my dream, I'm like, I'm freaking out. Like, what the fuck? Why isn't anybody freaking out? I'd you know be cool what I'm saying? with it. And everyone's just like, yeah. I don't know. It It'd probably weird. be pretty painless. And then that shit turned into a spaceship, which kept like, so it was, it was a box, like a really smooth, you know, like imagine Star Wars. Like like you're in a you're in a spaceship in Star Wars. Oh, okay. Um like a really like a star starship kind of thing, or what? What would you call it? A space a space base, a space space, a, a, a space <laughs> what, a space base, or what? What am I trying to say? Like a, I have no idea, dude. Like the Death Star. Like the Death Star. Like the Death Star. Okay. So say you're inside the Death Star. Okay, I'm in it. And the floor, you know, the floor is kind of like shiny and that you know, it's like the that shiny material, like metal. Like metal. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, so it's like a square it's a square room <coughs> right inside of this spaceship that we're in. Space base we've established. And there's a window and but the it's just like a square. <laughs> okay. Now this <laughs> Dude, we know. All right. it's a square room. Sorry, okay. sorry, sorry. <laughs> so this square keeps like spinning. And basically, I'm just like, you, you know, like, well, kind of so hard to explain. Like, you know, like those, those circle things that, like, if you go into, like, a fun house and they're constantly, like, a, um, a, 
Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you trying to tell me? Like a treadmill? treadmill? You, you like the big circle, like the cylinder thing? Like a hamster wheel? A hamster wheel, right. Okay. So <laughs> I was getting hamster wheeled in a square room. In a spaceship. What is the act of being hamster wheeled? Like you were put like, onto no, one? No, like the the room was spinning like this. Mm, okay. And I, and I would like slide over and I'd have to adjust to adjust catch yourself. To catch myself. Okay. And, like, and I just kept doing it. I would look out the window. A square shiny metal room. We were in space. You okay. Know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I was having dreams. You lost me, bro. I was having a dream that I was in a space base. <laughs> space base. We're back to the beginning. Okay. And it's in a square space room. Space base, it square room, turning. shiny metal, hamster wheel, <laughs> round and round. Shiny metal. <laughs> square window. God, I can't even think right now. So, <laughs> so yes. Um, and it, I don't know. It was just weird. And I kept like looking out the window. Yeah, where's this going? I don't know. I'm just talking about dreaming. Okay. Just talking about dreams. Right. Have you had a weird dream lately? Uh, Yeah, like every night. Really? Like every night? You dream every night? Oh, yeah. I don't often remember them. I have like a, a good handful of dreams that I've remembered throughout my life. Like that one when I was five and like I had this weird... I have a lot of apocalyptic dreams. I feel like my... Like when I'm like a in a group of people that are like some of the last people on earth. I did have a dream where we were uh, all at a hotel kind of casino on next to the ocean and i think we talked about this and i went surfing and there was like sharks and shit there's mm-hmm. always sharks whenever i go surfing in my dreams you surf in your dreams a lot yeah maybe you gotta go surf dude i want to go you, surf. Should, you gotta go surf yeah your dreams but are alluding to the truth but there's also sharks that yeah I think are, i'm afraid of you know yeah, sharks are pretty brutal, but and I'm a Colorado boy. I don't know anything. Not an about, ocean I don't, guy. I'm not. I don't know anything about the ocean. I don't know anything about. I don't like believe surfing. You, you told me you never seen the ocean, right? Not until, until we, went, we not, went to Mexico. Not until we went to Mexico. How do you say it? Mexico. 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 Right, Mexico. <laughs> Mexico. Uh, yeah. I one time I thought I saw a shark. I was at the beach in Baltimore with my grandparents, and we were like chilling them in the water. And I thought I saw shark fins. So I screamed and ran out the motherfucking water. I was I was little, so that's why I screamed. I wouldn't scream now. But anyway, everybody looked at me, and I was screaming, shark, shark. They were fucking dolphins. And they started jumping out of the water, and everybody started cheering. And I felt like a stupid asshole. Dolphins are scary, too. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. They could be. Like a horn- I think we talked about dolphin rape in one of the first episodes. <laughs> I think we talked about dolphin, dolphin rape. rape. Dolphin rape. Dolphin <laughs> rape. That's a cool band name. <laughs> dolphin rape. Dolphin rape. But yeah, didn't did we determine if that was factual or not? Do dolphins try to fuck humans? Yeah, all the time. What would you do? They're strong as fuck. You don't. You, you can't. Just- Dude, I saw a video of a kangaroo today, and that motherfucker was jacked oh yeah oh my a god kangaroo will fuck you up fuck that i also saw a video of a chimpanzee that these fucking white people were letting their babies play with which is mind-boggling dude a chimpanzee will fucking tear you in half no problem and eat you do you got your smokes on you yeah can i bum up no these fucks are seven dollars a pack now oh, i'm gonna stand by the window here this is a good this is a good Good idea. I want one. You want to share this one? Yeah. Dang, we're doing this on tape. This is a first. Our last studio, we definitely didn't smoke inside of. It's nice. I like uh, it. Uh, oh, yeah, dude. Uh, anyway, I definitely want to swim with sharks. Would you ever do that? Get in a cage with those fuckers? South America or South Africa or some shit? Um. No. I don't think so. No. No, I just saw a video of this person almost getting... There was a great white that jumped into the fucking cage. Yeah, that'll happen, I guess. Fuck If you got a shitty cage, probably. I would settle for nothing less than Nicolas Cage. That's the best one. (laughs) That's the best one. Nicolas Cage. And if it wasn't, I'd be gone in 60 seconds. Is it just me? 
I don't mean to put my opinions out there like that, but like I don't like Nicolas Cage. And it's not because no. of his acting. I it's hate not, his face. And to it, be it's not because of who he is as a person even. I just don't like his face. Now, like if we met in person and he was I heard like, he was a dickhead. If we met in person, I would probably be like, oh, yeah, like he's probably a cool guy. I don't know. No, heard he was a total dick. Really? My cousin's an actor. I guess he worked with him once. Total dick. Yells at people. Oh, yeah, let's talk about your cousin being an actor. He's like legit. He's been in a lot of movies recently. Yeah, Jordan's cousin is an, is an actor. Steven Lewis Grush. It's a PH Steven also. Steven. Steven. Call back to Chris's Steven. goddamn story. God damn it. I, I fucking, fucking Steven. You know but no, what? my cousin's legit. He just did a movie with Justin Timberlake. He played Zac Efron's best friend in a movie with Dennis Quaid. He's been in all sorts of shit. TV shows on NBC. Yeah. Do you want to hear this? Mm, mm-hmm. But he also, before he did film, he was doing just, theater shit. Just, you can pick your mic up. Yeah, but it's so it's so loud. And my, my headphone oh, cord yeah, isn't that long. That's you got to come to me, big dog. Right. Mm. I should get like a fan down here to blow it. Dude, you got one right here, bud. <laughs> I'm a big fan. You're a human fan. I'm a big fan. No, I'm just a big I'm just fan. A big of fan. <laughs> I'm a big fan of yours, bud. Oh, shit. I've been hearing a lot of dad jokes on TikTok. Because now that I'm a TikToker, if Bet anybody. Have. Dad case, jokes are big with 12 year olds. In case anybody was wondering, sense. I'm an official fucking TikToker now. We said that already. They're not wondering. Well, in case you were, were wondering. And if anybody's 12 years old and listening to this, you could follow him at. That's weird. Well, not because <laughs> he wants 12 year olds to follow him, but that's the only kind of people I assume that are on TikTok. No, dude, there's full grown adults on TikTok. Mm. I see a lot of stuff. Probably uh, mentally 12. No, man, I see a lot of funny shit on TikTok. I, uh, yeah, the shit I that know. The shit that I come across when I see, like, for instance, me and Josh were going through TikTok the other night, and there was like, a, you know, every <laughs> once in a while we'll come up with somebody who's who <laughs> is live on TikTok, and a lot of them is just like, you know, probably like a young teenage girl who's like trying to be trying to explore herself on camera basically yeah. okay and, that sounds uh, bad without without straight i mean you know you're not allowed to get naked or anything but and i'm and i we're scrolling through it and i kind of pause for a second and then i see like kind of looking at her face and she looks really young and i'm like i don't know if <laughs> i should we shouldn't be even be watching this shit that's what i don't like is that there's shit like that that comes up Mm-mm-mm. but other than that there's i mean i don't subscribe to any of that shit though so i don't see a whole lot of that you know what i mean that yeah, shit sucks that shit sucks that it even exists. Um, hey, you remember earlier when I couldn't remember what I was going to talk about? I remember. Because I have ADD and uh, that's what my brain does. The air quality in Colorado right now oh, yeah. is the second worst in the world. In case anybody, well, anybody who's listened to this is probably from Colorado. Um, most of our listeners are from Colorado. How do you know that? Because I can see... Who is on my fucking? I only share it to the people on my Facebook, unless my people on Facebook, my friends on Facebook, are live in other states, which some of them do, I guess. <coughs> but anyways, Colorado is uh, apparently fucking on fire. No, uh, it's not. It's not. It's blowing in from other places. I think. We don't know. We don't fucking know. It could be. I just know it's hazy as a motherfucker. It could be a de- could me. could be a deadly gas that they're releasing into the fucking ozone. We don't know. I'd be releasing deadly gases in the ozone. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're gonna be. I'm gonna have a a baby here soon. Little man. Hopefully, I'm gonna call him Manny. So, <coughs> when we Manny. when we move to Arizona, there's not gonna be any basement. So that's the reason why we're under the house is that we're in the basement. Yeah, so we might just have to dig a hole. <laughs> we're gonna dig a hole and do a podcast in it. Yeah, so we're gonna rebrand probably, huh? What do you think? I don't know. Yeah, maybe we could do like a different. You know, what if we I, just called ourselves I, Dolphin? I, rape? I would like to do a, a different <clears throat> podcast where we like interview people. Yeah. Uh, for instance, uh, my cousin Jason, who I would, I'm trying to get him on here so we can just sit here and talk. And so what he does is my he, cousin Jason. Um, shout out to uh, Colorado Ped Patrol on YouTube. Um, they basically what Jason does is he's helping this guy out. Um, 
They Tom, set up his, his name. Operations. His name is Tommy, who runs the channel, and uh, he basically plays as a decoy to uh, capture pedophiles, closet clowns, and <laughs> closet clowns. Yeah, exactly. Burrito salesman. Um, that and, sounds derogatory. <clears throat> I don't mean that. If you sell burritos, I don't think you're a pedophile. <laughs> I just think that one guy who sells burritos is a pedophile. Um, but yeah, he he does work with them, and they're like a nonprofit organization. And I think that's so cool because the world needs way more of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like but, people like that are awesome, and I want to get them on here to talk about it. But I know that our podcast is a little bit more loose than that, bro. I, I, you know I, I feel mean? bad making jokes, and I can't not make jokes. Right. So I, I would love to maybe do like a different. <coughs> different uh subsect of our podcast where we talk about serious stuff just make a second one not serious but like i mean that's pretty fucking serious you know what i'm saying and i feel like that we kind of merge with our uh content a little uh it would kind of clash a little bit but i think it would be a really cool idea uh if anybody likes that idea let us know i mean i got a couple serious guests in mind also so i'd be down um we love having Mike on. We'll probably have Mike on again. Probably Ryan again. Probably Ryan. Talking yeah. about music. Um, Dude, he's been sending me videos of him shredding on his guitar. He's getting a lot better. Is it? He's, he's gotten better since he's getting, I He's since getting I've super smooth with it. it. Shout out to Ryan, if you're listening. We love you, Ryan. We love you, man. <laughs> we love you so much. <laughs> um, no, just even having Jason on would be fucking tight, because that dude's funny. He's funny as hell. I've only met Jason like once or twice, I think. He is so fucking Tell funny. Tell him to bring his bird. <laughs> yeah, right. He still got that bird? His fucking institutionalized bird. Does he still have it? Yeah. So nobody wanted to take it? No. So. Makes sense. It sounds like he was I think violent. We, I think I talked about that one of my, or one of our earlier podcasts. Yeah, I think we did. Um, Tried to bite your nipple off. Right? No, you, were, you, were, you took no. your shirt off and you were waving your tits around. Yeah, that's what totally what happened. <laughs> like, Look at that shit. Look at those meats. Took my pants off. Went yeah. to Sea World. Took my pants off. <laughs> um, Dolphin rape well, is inevitable. Then, did you know sure. that there's? I learned something the other day. Did you know that there is insect parts in a lot of the shit that we eat and drink? But again, referencing what I said earlier. I don't mind because that shit's high in protein. I'll eat a cricket. Yeah. I don't um, give a fuck. But there, there's protein parts in, or protein parts, there's bug parts in. AKA protein parts. In beer, coffee, chocolate, peanut butter. Mm. A lot, m- most stuff Those has. Those are like my favorite things. Not only that, but like traces of feces. Fuck yeah, dude. Like there's, there's. There's shit in. That's what gives everything. these IPAs that stank flavor. <laughs> it's the, yeah. it's shout the poop. Out, shout out to Voodoo Ranger. That's what we're drinking right now. It's in, the uh, Imperial. New Belgium Imperial IPA. What is the, uh, the Imperial IPA? What is that? 9%? I can't see shit. 9%. 9%. Pretty delicious. They go down pretty fucking smooth. Well, anyway, glad to be back, though. Yeah, glad um, to be back. This is fun. I like making jokes and recording it. Eventually, we're gonna have. I mean, I'm hoping that we're. Ho- I'm hoping we can get some video in here. Um, you should, guys should see our new setup space. It's my basement. Yeah, dude, we got purple lights in here. Um, before we, we were in a futons. different basement, but now we're in my basement, and my basement looks like a uh, hippie cove. Oh, den. Like a, yeah, it looks like a den for heathens. A heathen hippie den with a bunch of. T- psychedelic tapestries everywhere and purple lights purple lights and music gear um hope you can join us down here soon with some video but for now you're just gonna have to listen to the sweet sweet sounds of our voices yes you want to listen to the sweet sweet sounds of our voices <sighs> episode 10 everybody <laughs> thank you very much have a great night everybody